The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. <sighs> Jeremy, Jeremy. You know what, all you people? Shut the fuck up. Sorry. Just shut it. Shut it. <laughs> Fuck you, Scotty. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, and also, he is another excellent stand up comedian. He is the 2021 funniest person in Wichita, Kansas, none other than the wreck himself, Mr. Derek Alders. Two more weeks? Yeah. 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 Next week is the uh, is the finals. God, God damn, Scotty. What? Now, how does that work then? Do you go to the bottom of the pile? <laughs> no, I just don't <laughs> you're, get to compete anymore. the least funny person? Yeah. Uh, back to where I was. Yeah. <laughs> uh, God. I think uh, I think our friend Scotty uh, either farted or <laughs> did not shower today. Why? Oh. I it just your it smells like natural gas. No, there, no, or I, something. I didn't. I definitely showered. Uh, fucking Schindler's wrist over here. It's terrible. <laughs> your wrist smell like the Holocaust, Scotty. <laughs> oh, God. Awful. That's terrible. And it was none too fresh. Yeah. <laughs> that's what they say. That's how they described it. Yeah. Wow. And that's actually what Auschwitz stands for. None <laughs> that's, too fresh. That is that is German for a little bit ripe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. oh shit. Well I wonder if whatever <laughs> Nazis got mad back in the day or frustrated. They're like, ah Schwitz. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, great. Connie is going to start listening to us. <laughs> yeah, no That's shit. what we need. Yeah. Right, yeah. Uh, but he welcome. seems like a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> welcome in, everybody, again to another excellent episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. If this is the very first time you're listening to one of these shows, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, they're all targeted towards me, and I'm fine with it. Uh, but also, this is an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and make loud noises. So if that's not your thing and you're in the wrong place, get the fuck out of here. Thank you, and goodbye. Whew. My God, we've got a locked and loaded show. Looking at the docket here, we've got uh, some sports news, real shit or horse shit. The same stuff we have every week, we folks. Do not, we do not have bad advice this week. Uh, we have overrated or underrated questions, preguntas, a draft, and as always, a shitty situation. Uh, but before we go into all of that fun stuff... Uh, you know, I, I yeah. kind of wonder with the whole bad advice thing, what happened to all the... Uh, the good questions that were getting sent in. And then I answered myself immediately. Uh, they never started. Uh, <laughs> they've all been shit. Yeah. Uh, but uh, before we get all to the, f- or onto the fun stuff, let's talk about what happened to us over the last week. We call it our week, week recap. So Derek, yeah, what'd you do, bud? Well, I spent a lot of the week wondering the format of this show. <laughs> I was wondering if we were going to do all the stuff we did all the other <laughs> are you, four years. Are you relieved? That uh, we're, yeah. That I we're was, doing? I really thought we were going to change it up, but I I guess we're not. Uh-huh. Um, I had Friday off. Congratulations. It was uh, vet day. Yeah. Yeah. So I got my veterinarian a card. She looked at me really weird. <laughs> uh, but, you know, whatever. I'm yeah. appreciative, bitch. <laughs> and then. Uh, whatever, uh, dude. You know, neuter my female dog. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> bitch. Yeah. I got you a card. <laughs> <laughs> then I. Uh, Watch some football. Yeah. And then uh, watch some stuff on uh, Netflix and went to a movie. Oh. Uh, we binge watched pretty much The Watcher. Okay. So we were the watchers of The Watcher. Nice. Thank uh, God somebody was watching. Yeah. yeah. It was 
okay, I guess based off of a true story or based on actual events. Oh, obviously, okay. I didn't know that. Loosely based on actually, you know how that shit works. Yeah, like Cool Runnings. Yeah, I right. guess. Yeah. I guess so. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know, um, <laughs> but uh, it was okay. The ending was a little weird. I heard it was weird. I haven't watched it, but I heard it was yeah kind of dumb. Yeah. I mean, I don't hate that I did it. And then uh, we went and watched Black Panther 2. Oh, how was that? It was there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like, that, I'm not usually the guy that's going to critique a comic book movie because I never read the fucking comics. And sure. Shit, but it was two hours and like 47 minutes long. Oh. It could have been about 90 minutes. Oh, I'm sure. Like, it was just a bunch of bullshit. Kind of like this show. Yeah. Just a bunch of bullshit <laughs> dialogue. This show should be 20 minutes tops. <laughs> Uh, bunch I of, bet you that Bozeman killed it though, didn't he? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, big time, uh-huh. big time. Um, and just I won't, I won't spoil it for anybody that's going to go see it, other than probably don't. Um, <laughs> I mean, it wasn't bad. It just wasn't good. It was just there, mm-hmm. you know, just yeah, fucking there. So yeah. that's that's what we did. Okay, that was pretty much my week. Nothing too interesting. Uh, went out and got shit hammered on uh, Friday. Yeah, yeah. So that was it. Well, I played some poker. Yeah, did not do good. Okay, I was gonna no, ask. No, I played did. poorly. No, oh, okay, you played poorly or you just I, got bad no, cards. No, I played poorly. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I haven't played in like a year. Okay. So, well, uh, my week was exceptional. It was it was very exceptional. Those of uh, us here in the Midwest, we have finally had the changing of weather going on. Uh, like today, as we're recording, it's fucking snowing. Oh, it's not done. <laughs> yeah. It'll go back to being 80 degrees before mm-hmm. it gets That's Kansas permanently for you. cold. Yeah. Uh, but over the weekend, um, it was cold enough for me to justify having our very first uh, fire of uh, of the new year. Really? Yeah. Uh, was it hopefully in your living room? It was in my living room. Sweet. Did you burn that ugly fucking couch? <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh, I would. That's where I would have started. <laughs> were you lighting farts? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I was. Nice. That's romantic. I know. <laughs> you ever see that in the jackass where they lit it in the tub? No. Oh, yeah. I guess they've been trying to do it for years and finally got, got it to go. They built like an entire machine, <laughs> like a tube and an ele- like a Bunsen burner or some Fuck, shit. Yeah. yeah, it was unreal. That's awesome. For something so volatile as methane that comes out of your ass, it's not the easiest thing to get going. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Uh, call back just imagine guys like back in the fucking bush trying to get a fire started if back, they'd have known just about with a that flint, just <laughs> 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 no hold it up to your ass and fart <laughs> jeez uh but I'll no rub the sticks together yeah. right yeah come here <laughs> let's fucking bang that rock near my asshole watch this <laughs> uh, great <laughs> Uh, but so we had the fire, which was awesome. That's my favorite part is whenever you're really nice and cozy and watching football. And, uh, I loved it. Uh, but on top of that, my, my drink of choice also changed. Um, jizz now, no, huh? you know, no, no, straight up. You don't Not, even, don't even cut it with water anymore. No, just straight up jizz. Straight jizz. Uh, no, I, uh, it used to be jizz and juice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now it's no juice. Mm. Uh, but no, I, uh, my drink tends, uh, to change as this, like the seasons change. So, uh, now I have this drink. It's, uh, angry ball. Oh, uh, it's called angry balls. It's uh, angry orchard and fireball and jizz. No, it just, just angry orchard and fireball. Well, you float jizz on top of it. It's God, a floater. No, no. And no. Then where does the jizz come in? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cause we know you're not drinking anything without jizz. Right? Yeah. I mean, there is balls in the name. Yeah, it's true. And angry balls spit. Yeah. So, oh, there's jizz in that drink. Sometimes he goes right from the tap. Yeah. Uh-huh. On the jizz. So he calls it wheezing the juice. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I did uh, actually start watching a uh, a series on Netflix, and I fucking love every bit of it. Um, Joe Rogan had a had yeah. two guests on his show, uh, one being Graham Hancock, and he now has his own Netflix series, and it's called Ancient Apocalypse, and it's about um, like uh, I don't know groups of people that may have. Uh, built a whole bunch of stuff before the ice age and lived through it. It was pretty fucking awesome. You need to put air quotes around may have. May have? Yeah. May have. Probably didn't. Probably <laughs> didn't. But it's a, it's a whole bunch of things. It's kind of a conspiracy thing that I've been getting into, and I'm, but I am obsessed with it. It's fucking awesome. Um, you should go watch it right now. I, I might. You should. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, I got a new conspiracy theory I'm working on. Okay. But I'm not going to tell you now. Okay. It's not really fully cooked. So it's, not, <laughs> so it's better than the flat moon? <clears throat> 
Oh, it's so much more in depth. It, okay. it stacks on to an already existing conspiracy. I heard a new, actually, I did hear a new conspiracy today. Like uh, Jimmy Butler's dad is actually Michael Jordan. Did you hear that? That's not a new one. That's like three years old. Yeah, but I, I'd never heard of it before. Like, no, it's not. Um, but the last thing. But died in the apocalypse. Right. Yeah, died he, in the uh, apocalypse. He died in the Ice Age, actually. Right, yeah. Right after he got done building shit. Jordan mm. or Butler? Both. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that makes perfect That's sense. That's why he's the GOAT. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's um, why LeBron can't compete. LeBron did not <laughs> create a civilization. No. Are, are you not a fucking uh, a Mormon? Do you not realize that, uh, you know, Jordan came back after he got the golden tablets and won six rings? Oh, man, that makes, yeah. that makes a lot of sense. That's what happened. Dunked all those tablets. Mm-hmm. Um, That's why they can't find them anymore. <laughs> shattered them. Right. Uh, but probably the most exciting news out of uh, the entire week was Derek and myself Ended up going that to... That does not sound exciting it's to me. Really, that sounds yeah. like a very bad time. We now have a P.O. box. And uh, the P.O. box is going to be awesome because Derek actually came up with a new segment, and I can't wait to announce it. You got a pissed off box. Uh, yeah, pissed off box. Mm-hmm. Uh, that peeved. <laughs> If you have anything you would like to send us, we will actually open it on the show live and give you a shout out for where you're from. Oh, that's not a good idea. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> we, we should give that a test run first. <laughs> the best part we'll is... We'll be opening boxes of human shit. You oh, know that, right? <laughs> actually, Felix from here in town said that's exactly what he's going to send us. Well, um, then maybe we shouldn't open that on air. Uh, we just won't open Felix's on Oh, air. no. Uh, this is Derek's idea, and I really like it. It's that's called... the closest he'll get to being on this show. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's called What's in the Box. And um yeah, so we'll oh. open up uh we'll open up your package live on the show. And uh that address And the winner is the one who sends us Gwyneth Paltrow's head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> no, you can send your uh your your items to uh laughing on the sidelines. Uh address is seventy one thirty West Maple Street, Suite two thirty, box three ten in Wichita, Kansas, six seven two zero nine. Uh that now address, in case you didn't hear that clearly, you can come get it directly from Scotty at <laughs> no, one, one uh, yikes. Stop. God damn it. Well, how are they supposed to know how to get the fucking P.O. box? <laughs> I, well, yeah, actually, the P.O. box is in all of our bios. So our TikTok bio, Instagram bio, and YouTube bio is our P.O. box. So you can send those things. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Do understand that one person is not going to um, open the box every week. We're going to move it around. So that means if you're trying to glitter bomb Scotty, it may actually glitter bomb Derek. Oh, and my wife actually cleans this room. so Like a goddamn woman should. That's right. So if you uh, so why isn't Scotty doing it? You're going to piss her off, not me. So anyway, uh, but I'm excited for that. That's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, and then uh, that, was, uh, that was my week. Derek and I went and did that and got that P.O. box. So yeah. How about you, Jeremy? What? What'd you do? Uh, not a whole lot. Um, I Something I forgot to mention on... Uh, on last week's podcast, I went and uh, I got some cryotherapy again. Oh, nice. And did the compression therapy there, too. Got to see Yoga Matt. I got to see Yoga Matt. We hung out next to each other on the uh, compression chairs for about an hour. Really? And we talked quite a bit, yeah. I've actually um, cried at therapy myself, Jeremy. I understand. <laughs> yeah. How'd it make you feel? <laughs> you know, I think I had a breakthrough. <laughs> Fucking shit. Jalen Hurts just scored a touchdown, that <laughs> cocksucker. Yeah, you want to talk to my therapist about it? Yeah, you should. I'd love to. Is, <laughs> is he cold? Yes, that's the only kind of therapy I go to anymore. Yeah, for those of you who pretty cold hearted, for those of you who don't know, Jeremy and myself are playing each other in fantasy football, and we are recording this episode as we were watching Monday Night Football. And I have, uh, or, uh, Jeremy has no more players. I have Jalen Hurts and Brian Robinson. So you have Jalen Hurts. I, yeah, I need a thirty burger though. That's what I need. So uh, anyway. let's go defense. Yeah, no kidding. I think he just got you. Yep, 10. Yep, something like that. So uh, anyways, um, I talked to Matt, and then I saw he updated his Facebook post. Uh, Congrats to him. He just finished his uh, first 24-hour run. Why would somebody do that? That's what I said. (laughs) That's exactly what I said. Now, I've had the runs for what felt like 24 (laughs) hours. Are you sure he didn't get this backwards? Yeah. It sounds like that may have been going on while... Because uh, I guess uh, on Sunday, then tested positive for COVID. So, um, <laughs> oh, wow. no. Yeah. It's moral of the story. Don't exercise. Yes. Kid. Right. Uh, I believe he got uh, a little over 70 miles in oh, 24 hours. What the he, fuck? It, it was like this deal. It was just on a round fucking track. 
where him and like 24 other people, they started at 6 p.m. and they went till 6 p.m. the next night. And it's like, why? 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 I don't even think they were raising money for anything. They were just <laughs> doing it. And it's like, at least run a trail or nope. something. Get from point A to point B, not A to A. They were they were definitely raising money on that. Were they? Yeah. ADD awareness. I forgot, I yeah. guess. Yeah. I, I, I stopped paying attention. <laughs> uh, Jeremy Strong, man. Yep, that's right. <laughs> they had bracelets and everything. It was yeah. great. Well, I'll tell you what. If that guy ever gets coke dick, his wife will die. <laughs> yeah. He has nothing but stamina. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. That will be the end of her life. He was yeah. telling me about, like, you know, his, his running regiment, how he'll just go and, and run, you know, 30 miles, like, on a Saturday. Yeah. And it's like, you realize that there are people who set their life goal, one day I'll run a marathon, which is 26.2. Yeah. And, and I said, Do you, are you aware how insane that sounds? And he's just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and so I can't hang out with him anymore. Yeah. Um, let's see. I mowed my lawn for probably the final time of the season. Still haven't done that Lawn yet. looks great, lawn, by the way. My lawn looks like I shit. I hope it stays this color all winter long. I know it won't, but mm -hmm. I hope it does. Mm -hmm. That color, by the way, purple. <laughs> don't know why that's ADD awareness color. that's ADD awareness color by the way <laughs> is it? Oh, yeah, we, we, really looked it up. Is. we looked it up I really kind of want to start selling Jeremy Strong bracelets I really do and we looked up the ADD awareness color and, and it was purple, purple. <laughs> perfect red yeah it's so perfect what we're talking about <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah anyway uh, let's see I'm sure we watched some shit on TV but I don't recall what um, nothing of, of interest. I'm glad we were going to go see the uh, Black Panther movie, um, <laughs> but glad we didn't. Um, if anybody would have been more disappointed than me, it's definitely <laughs> oh, me. I, I have learned not to have any expectations of Marvel movies anymore. I watched She-Hulk on, on Disney+. Plus. Oh, how was I that? I see that about four times a month. <laughs> it, okay, on one hand, I expected it to be absolutely atrocious, and it wasn't quite that bad, but... It still wasn't good, <laughs> and it was just like this running trope of itself, and don't know why. Oh, God. And then they brought Daredevil into it, oh. but they made him goofy instead of, like, dark. He's basically Marvel's Batman. Nice. Oh, I yes. thought you meant, like, it was actually goofy. Yeah. Like, <laughs> gore. <laughs> like that guy. Yuck. Okay. <laughs> you just blew my fucking mind. <laughs> I, I, like, I did not know that dog I was blind. I so want that to happen now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a dog who needs a seeing eye dog. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and all he's got is Pluto. <laughs> or some Beckman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so awesome. <laughs> but uh, so anyhow, um, we didn't do that because... Un unfortunately, uh, I'm about to bring the funny guys. Oh, uh, no. I, ha I have a relative and an aunt who uh, has had stage four cancer for about the last year oh. and has been in hospice care. And she really started uh, waning on Saturday and they were sure that that was going to be the day. And then she kind of perked up a little bit. And But it's just kind of any day now. And so... Basically, I had to stay home and just kind of wait for the news. So that's what I did with my weekend, guys. Hilarious, <laughs> oh right? God. Yeah. That sucks. So, Sorry. But, yeah. I mean, it's uh, it's kind of we're in that to that situation now where we just we wanted to be at peace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As opposed to going through what she's going through now. So hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that's terrible. She actually. That's uh, when I told you about taking my. Great Aunt Eugenia. Yeah. To, it was to my aunt's birthday party. This would be my great aunt's niece who is dying. Oh. Uh, the the aunt that I took there would be my grandfather's sister. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Um, so it's that was kind of weird. Title. No, That's no. Cool. She's, yeah, it turns out she is my best aunt. Now. <laughs> um, <laughs> Trophy smack. Get on yeah. a belt. That's, That's right. right. Hell yeah. Oh, I wonder if she could hold up a belt. <laughs> <laughs> Those lady belts are usually quite a bit smaller. Right, yeah. But so anyways, yeah, that's uh, that's been, I, I actually was looking forward to doing this so I could uh, get away from that a little bit. That's cool. Yeah. Right. Awesome. Now I regret it. Okay. I would rather be in that situation. I, fig I figured that's true. Okay. Well, now we get to move on to the to the show. But before we do that, we got to give a shout out to our sponsor. Which Pine is, Sol. No. 
No, does they even still make that shit? Of course they still make pine salt. Is, yeah. the, is the crazy lady with the giant fucking gap between her teeth still advertising that? I don't know. Oh, God, you could drive a dump truck through that motherfucking smile. Oh, it's bad. Okay. Mm-hmm. No, anyways, she doesn't. So anyway, yeah. Back to pine salt. Yeah, yeah. So anyways, uh, no, our sponsor is manscaped.com. Um, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I really love my lawnmower. I think it's great. Of course you do. Well, Jeremy you, actually that, just mowed his lawn for the did. last time this year. I so know. He's done. That's what I used. But the lawnmower <laughs> for I really get meticulous with it. I, I put the guard on there, the short guard. <laughs> I get it all nice and even. <laughs> I, I had so many people tell me how sexy my lawn looks. <laughs> <laughs> but the lawnmower 4.0 is something that your lawnmower does not have. Adjustable <laughs> LED lights. You don't know that. My lawnmower could need to shave its pubes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. I, I am sure that <laughs> your uh, your wife really appreciates you having it. Yes. Because now you can clear out the brush so she can see what she's making fun of. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. And now she can tell what she's trying to kick. That's right. Uh, but no, the Lawnmower 4.0 is... Quit lighting fires! <laughs> ...is their flagship product to help you keep your downstairs clean. And I mean your dick, your balls, and your taint. That's what Scotty mm-hmm. used for Tinder whenever he was burning his couch. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just threw some pubes on there. It got, really got it going. Oh, you're not talking about the website. No. 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 It's no. grinder. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah grinder. exactly. Uh, it doesn't smell the best. Burning your pubes smells awful. That's really, really bad. Uh, but check that I out. I haven't had Manscaped. crabs in a while, so. Oh, yeah. But you stab them with an ice pick. That's After the other I've side. lit the fire. Yeah, yeah the other gotcha. side. Okay, gotcha. Um, but they have excellent products like the Lawnmower 4.0, but they also have things like the Weed Whacker for your nose hair, your ear hair. They have ball deodorant, which comes in handy if your balls stink, like Derek's over here. And they also That's have the ball toner. That's because they leaning against your wrist, Scotty. Oh, okay, I see. Uh, they also have the ball toner as well. They have tons of excellent products at manscaped.com. Do us a favor, go check them out. And if you purchase anything, use the promo code sidelines, get 20% off of your order and free shipping. That helps you out, helps us out, and lets Manscaped know we are reading these commercials word for word. Right? Yep. Yeah. C. C. All right, moving on. When we get to the That's sports. Spanish for yes, you guys. Uh huh. It sure is. You know what uh-huh. Spanish for, or you know what questions is in Spanish? I don't care. Preguntas. Um, but no, I like don't care. That's yeah. actually better. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Spanish needs to change their language. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh-huh. Get with it. Espana. Right. It's 2022, almost 23. Right. Uh, current events, unfortunately, before the show started, uh, I unfortunately found out that Anthony Rumble Johnson passed away. Oh, no, not uh, uh, Rumble Johnson. Dude, he is a Is that guy, was he one of the N1 tape guys? No, he was uh, Rumble MMA he's fighter. A fighter he's, yeah. He was one of my favorite MMA fighters of all time. God, he was a beast. Yeah, you talked about him so much. I did. Yeah, I mean, he's got the posters. I mean, I mean he hadn't fought. Everywhere we went, it was Rumble this, Rumble that. Yeah. Right. Uh, WWRD, that's, that's, what would Rumble do? That's he, actually the name that he got that P.O. box box number under that's right (laughs) uh but no uh they're very sad but i did get to watch the ufc fight i got to watch uh, israel adesanya versus alex uh pereira i believe is how you pronounce his name um but uh israel adesanya got tko'd in the fourth round did you watch that fight Derek? i didn't know if you got not at all okay i didn't know if you did no i did not uh it's pretty big um upset i guess that's the same i guess um alex pereira apparently uh, knocked him out in kickboxing like years ago and then um, decided to go to the UFC and he's only fought in seven fights and he ends up getting title shot and knocking off Israel Adesanya. So I got to watch it. I thought it was fucking great paper. What weight class? Uh, Light heavyweight. Light heavyweight, okay. Yep. Um, But uh, to make you happy there, Jeremy. Can we talk about another death? Oh, yeah. That occurred? Oh, sure, go ahead. One that's not sad really for anybody. (laughs) Uh, Gallagher died. On Friday, mm-hmm. I believe it was. And uh, the ironically, comedy- it was a guy that was dressed as a watermelon, smashed his head with mm-hmm. a mallet. <laughs> wow. Crazy. Crazy. Uh, yeah. But yeah, and- uh, the uh, comedy community is much better now. <laughs> <laughs> That's so awful. Uh, but, Carrot Top, uh, you're next. <laughs> no shit. And then Jeff Dunham. No. Carrot Top, okay, here's the thing. While I don't necessarily care for his comedy, uh, like Gallagher was not only like hacky, he was a dick. I mean, he from all all accounts, Carrot Top's at least a decent dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've heard he's a uh, nice guy. But no, Gallagher Gallagher walked out on Mark Marin. Oh, in the middle of a fucking interview with him, and he's like, because he just no matter Mark Marin was asking him the most innocuous questions, uh-huh. and Gallagher was taking everything as a personal attack. 
oh, and wow. just stormed out of the fucking room. Wow. He was a prick. Yeah. Uh, but actually, to brighten everybody's day up a little bit, Mr. Jeremy Joseph's team, the K-State Wildcats, ended up getting a big win in Baylor. They most certainly did. 30, uh, 31 to 3. And I have to believe that there is a for sure quarterback controversy uh -huh. in Manhattan right now. And I tell you, Will Howard has looked much better than uh, Adrian Martinez over the last uh what he's played in two of the last three two games. games yep. The the only real problem with that is is that he was hoping to keep his red shirt. Right. And because yeah. he came in, he has lost right. it. But if well, I don't think he has yet. I oh. think you get four games a season. I thought it was two. Your, I thought it was two. But well <clears throat> fuck, I don't know. Uh -huh. But I gotta think that if it gives him a shot at the Big Twelve championship game, mm -hmm. you gotta keep him going. Yeah. And I don't know really what's wrong with Adrian Martinez. Never really cared to ask what i can tell you is that the uh <laughs> the the long snaps in this game mm -hmm. picture perfect picture perfect mm -hmm. excellent yeah uh, he's a nice guy i heard the long no snap. idea no, no idea no idea. Oh, okay uh it was a guess based on on uh conversations we may or may not have had with him yes <laughs> <laughs> Uh, shit. But anyways, congratulations to those Wildcats. Uh, but we got to get to the NFL. God, the NFL was an excellent week. Oh, man, oh, man. And it kicked off at like 7.30 in the fucking morning. Sure did. Yeah, Sun didn't watch that one. Well, oh, I watched I half did. of it. It was, it was 9.30. I, it was, no, it was. It was way earlier than that. It was earlier. Or no, 8.30. It started yeah, at 8.30. Yeah. And, um, Would have been 7.30 last week. Apparently, yeah. Apparently, the Tampa Bay uh, Buccaneers end up beating Seattle. And because it was so early, it was because it was played in Germany. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Munich. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, my God, the I, I the game was great. The game was fine. But most importantly, they serve giant beers at that stadium. They sure do. They are fucking like, what do you call them? I'm having a blank. Steins? Steins. Yeah, it's bigger than a Stein. Pitchers. It, yards. Yes, it's, it's like our pitcher. And it was awesome. I, I wonder mean, how much they were. I don't think they were as much as, as they 18 are. 18 Deutschmarks. Okay. That's cheap. <laughs> probably. That's probably cheap. Probably, yeah. Uh, but there was one thing that Jeremy brought to my attention. Apparently, the German, uh, like the, the entire stadium was all of a sudden singing Country Roads. They were singing Country Roads, Take Me Home by John Denver. Okay. And apparently, everybody in the media is, was that Robinson? No. no. Nope. Thank God. Damn it. All right. Uh, <laughs> nah, this is fantasy football talk. Folks, sorry. Right? Sorry. <laughs> Uh, apparently people like in the media are flabbergasted as to why everybody in Germany knows the words to that song. And I always thought that it was more common knowledge than this. Uh, years ago, I worked with a, a mechanical engineer, uh, who was from Germany who explained it to me. Um, okay. Basically during, during the cold war, mm -hmm. Germany was split into two countries, East Germany, West Germany, East Germany was a communist nation. They were a part of the Soviet union. Fuckers. Um, I, I don't understand exactly how that worked. They were their own country with their own government, but they still answered to the Soviet union, hmm. but they were incredibly oppressive and people had absolutely no freedoms there. And they basically held their own citizens hostage. You, you couldn't get out of East Germany. West Germans sometimes were kind of allowed in, but you had to have a damn good reason, and you had like a strict time limit, and if you weren't out by a certain time, you would probably be arrested and maybe even executed. It was just a horrible, awful place. Meanwhile, West Germany was uh, a standard country with all the rights and freedoms that you would expect a free country to have. Um, well, anyways, they really just kind of as a fuck you to the East German government embraced everything western especially american huh. culture um it was it was just kind of a way to to really rub it in their face and kind of put some distance between them and the nazis because that hadn't been quite so long at that point right um and they really just lapped everything up if they could make any kind of a direct connection between whatever the american thing is and and germany mm -hmm. well okay john denver that's his his stage name, his showbiz name. Mm -hmm. His real name is uh, Henry Deutschendorf, I believe. <laughs> really? Yeah, or Deutschendorf. Okay. It's, it, it's an incredibly German name, and it, it, Hen, John is his middle name. So it basically means Henry from a German town. 
That's that's what his the, his name actually means. Hmm. And so because it was so very German, they just embraced the shit out of it. Plus, because that's how they marketed him in Germany. And uh, so, yeah, they just really loved the fuck out of it to where it kind of his music became their standards. Huh. Like shit that they would sing at parties and stuff. Plus, with it being such a German name, it kind of made it easy for smugglers to take it over to the East German side because oh, nice. the government agents didn't really suspect anything. They're like, this isn't contraband. This is just some German guy. It says it right in his fucking name and <laughs> didn't realize that East German people were getting to listen to American music, which they never would have allowed any wow. other way. So, yeah, he's it's it's become like this deeply ingrained thing so that now people who may not even know that that was a John Denver song, they just know the music because that's just like the music of their people now. Huh. It's cultural appropriation is what yeah. it is, and they we should nuke them. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking Denver back. Awesome. Uh, so that was, uh, that was fun. Yeah, uh, it sure Bay, was. Tampa Bay ends up beating Seattle, and uh, Tom Brady doesn't have a absolutely awful, shitty, shitty game. Uh, next up, uh, the... D- yeah, it's like that comeback from the last game kind of sparked a little something in him. Yeah, maybe just a little bit. <clears throat> or, um, or maybe he got some good news from his divorce attorney. Yeah, something and like that. Uh, but uh, did probably you see the thing with Brady that, uh, what was it, Giselle? Giselle? Yeah, while he was in Germany at this game, uh-huh. uh, Giselle actually took a vacation to Costa Rica with her jiu-jitsu trainer. Oh, oh nice. yeah, yeah, and nice. the kids and all of them had dinner together, and yeah, it's oh, spectacular. So makes well, you I mean, it that is was going on before, probably. Yeah, it mm-hmm. is Costa Rican jiu jitsu. <laughs> <laughs> she just didn't want to miss a lesson. Is it's what it not was. quite yeah. as dangerous as the Brazilian one. It's a right. it's a little more touristy. Yeah. You get stabbied a little bit more. Sure, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, that's probably was going on. Well, oh, before. yeah, yeah, I bet it was. Uh, but the best news of the entire week, the uh, Detroit Lions scored 21 points in the fourth quarter to come back and beat the Bears. Why is that the best news? Because I'm a Lions fan, man. Oh, you're not a Lions fan. I am, Scott. too. You keep telling yourself that. I am. See? So. See? Uh-huh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You yeah. got a hat. Yeah. Oh, my God. Huge that. fan, folks. Um, Let me see that full back piece, and then we'll, uh, then we'll talk. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I got two more uh, Detroit Lions hats coming now. Um, yeah, yeah. No, is that are you gonna put that cum in your drink? No. Is that what it's gonna be? No. An angry lion ball? Mm-mm. Yeah. Whatever. No. Jizz. Some ice Drinking some jizz. Uh, no. No. New Era has like a twenty five percent off sale going on right now. The whole NFL shop does. Okay. Um, cool. I was actually, I was talking about it. And like I was watching Fields play that game, and I was like, God, you know, I looked at my wife, and I was like, I probably shouldn't do it. Can't really afford to do much right now, but I, I kind of think I need to get a Fields jersey. Uh huh. And she's like. Well, I said, what do you think? The blue or the orange? And the show I'm showing her, and she's like, I don't know. What do you think? I'm like, that's why I fucking asked you. <laughs> and so uh, I put the blue one in my cart. Yeah. And I was like, all right. And I was like, man, I shouldn't. I don't, I don't know. And then he threw that pick, and I was like, yeah, I bet they're having a sale on, like, Black Friday or something. Like, I just, I don't know. And then, uh like the very next play after the kickoff, it's like 67 yard touchdown run. I was like, I'm checking out, <laughs> I checked out and bought it. So Let me I have ask, a uh, Fields jersey on the way. Good Let deal. me ask you a question, Derek. Yes, sir. How do you, as a Bears fan, feel about those orange jerseys? I like them. I do like you? Them. Yes. Mm-hmm. Ugh, I love I them. Do. I don't care for that shade of orange mm-hmm. at I, all. That's a trim color. I, I don't like the old school white throwbacks, I don't like those. I agree with you. What do those look like? They're white. They're well, yeah. Every team has those a fucking are their road white jersey. jersey. Yeah, but it's the. I'll just show you a picture of it. Okay, it's they're white, almost like a black. Really, almost is even it not the like same a one that almost every uh, every poster of uh, Walter, Walter Payton? Payton. Yeah, mm-hmm. no. Oh, I thought that's was that's what they were. No, I like the traditional white jerseys they have. The orange ones I fucking love though. I actually think they're kind of they're they're slick looking. I like them. These are these ones. I don't like these with the three stripes on the shoulders. And oh, the, and the GSH or whatever it is. Yeah, the shoulders go around the sleeves. I don't like it. It's the one where there's three stripes on the shoulders, three stripes on the sleeves, very blocky. Oh, yeah. That looks like a Cleveland Browns jersey. Almost does. Mm-hmm. I don't like it. Yeah. And that's why I don't I don't think I care for the for the orange jerseys either. I, I look at those and I think either Broncos or yeah. or Browns. Uh, well, I don't know. I like them. I just never, I don't like a lot of, I, I hate when, uh, I always hated when the Chiefs on 
at night games when they would go with the same color pants as the jersey, mm-hmm. the red pants, red yeah, jersey. Red I jersey. fucking hate those. Yeah, a lot of things I hate. I know. Mm-hmm. Um, how about uh, the Minnesota Speaking Vikings? Speaking of things I hate, go ahead. Scotty. Yeah, the Minnesota Vikings beating the uh, Buffalo Bills in overtime in Buffalo. Jesus Christ! The Minnesota Vikings are now eight and one. Very mm-hmm. quietly, eight yes. and one. Yes. Are uh, they for real? I've said it all year. I think they're for real. I don't know about this one. They were being soundly beaten, and then all of a sudden, uh, Josh, Josh Allen, Allen decided to turn the ball playing. over. Yeah. Two, yeah. two interceptions and a two fumble. red zone interceptions mm-hmm. and a fumble in his own end zone. Yeah. You have a decent quarterback. You have arguably the best receiver in the league and a top running back in the league. Yep. And you still have Adam Thielen. I don't know how. And they traded for that tight end from Detroit, didn't they? Yeah. Hawkinson. Hawkinson. I don't know how you can't not be looked at as a as a Super Bowl contender, and it's a team that's for real. They should be. They're going to win the North. They're yeah probably going to get a first round buy. How big of a well, contract do you there's think? There's only one buy now, isn't there? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, so maybe it'll be them or Philly that's going to get the buy. Philly will get the buy. How big of a contract do you think Jefferson earned himself just from that game alone? Oh, it's going to be that's, record breaking. Yeah, I mean, there was he had three highlight catch like. Season highlight catches mm-hmm. yeah. in that game. One of them may be what was the most impossible catch I've maybe ever seen. He's still got two years left on his rookie deal. Oh, does he really? Yes. He's that young. Wow. Yeah, he was a rookie not last year, but the year before. This is his third year in the I league, mean, that, I believe. If, he's, if he plays the rest of the time like he played, I mean, that's Randy Moss quality. Yeah. Shit right there. Yeah, that means they're going to let him go to the Raiders. Yep. Yeah, probably. <laughs> so that they can not throw to him. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I don't, I don't think that they are, they are for real. I think they do have, um, one of the most, uh, powerful offenses, but having Kirk cousins as your quarterback, even though he's looked great. Um, I also don't think that they have the most stellar defense in the world either. So yeah, those turnovers, they didn't cause those turnovers. No, they were Josh that, Allen. They turnovers. were his fuck ups. Yeah, exactly. So, and, and I'm wondering about maybe some discord going on with the bills right now. Cause when the, when your defense makes a goal line stand mm-hmm. to get you the ball back and you do that shit, that kind of makes them not want to work for you. Right. No, Very I hard. Agree that, I agree with you. That would piss me right the fuck off. Yeah. Well, he's also got that fucked up elbow too, though. Yeah, he does. He he was he, questionable to play. It wasn't a problem in the first half. Yeah. He was tearing them the hell up in the first half. Yeah. Uh, but next one, we're going to move on to uh, the Indianapolis Colts. Guys, Jeff Saturday is undefeated. He won his first football game. Look at that. I think you may see Josh McDaniels get fired. I think you're probably right. I, and I'd like to go back to last what we were talking about last week. This is not on purpose. No, no. This is uh, <clears throat> this is bad. This is... Uh, no, Ursay is trying to undercut the Colts right now, and the Raiders still couldn't beat him yeah. with that. Yeah. Uh, congratulations to Saturday. Good job, buddy. Yeah. But... Oh, piss off your shit. owner. Fuck. Oh, shit. Um, the but Raiders that's a jump pass. Trouble. That doesn't count. Yeah, it does. Uh, but no, uh, I, I, oh boy, dare I say McDaniels makes the whole season. I, I'm questioning as of right now if he does. Well, if the Raiders want that number one pick. Then he needs to just lose out. Ju- yeah. Lose out, get yourself a quarterback, but even the draft class for quarterbacks next year is not that great. So. Did you see the emotional fucking presser that, that, uh, What's his name? Uh, their quarterback. God damn it. Why can't I? Derek Carr. 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 Yes. Yeah. He gave, yeah. It's crying Which out. he's out there trying. Yeah. He really is. He's just not getting any help. Nope. Devontae's uh, helping him. Devontae's helping him, yeah. But everybody else, not much. Yeah. So, uh, but moving on to the final thing for sports, uh, the Dallas Cowboys blow a fourth quarter lead and lose to the Packers in Green Bay. This is the lot one real time I'll root for the Packers. Damn it. A lot of bullshit calls that yeah. uh, Green Bay was starting to get go their way. It looked like Green Bay of old with that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was horse shit. It was. And I didn't get to see overtime. Like, I was I was there for the fourth quarter and then left and had to go to the movie. I didn't see overtime. They were in field goal range. Did they not attempt a field goal? Yeah. They they uh, turned the ball over. Is that, was it a turnover? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Because I didn't get to see that play, and all of a sudden I'm like, why is it? It's fourth down. Mm-hmm. Why? What are they doing? Why oh, is I, no- I think it was a situation where they were, they didn't feel comfortable with the range, and they only had a yard to get, so they went for it on well, fourth. It was, mm-hmm. it was fourth and three. 
something like that. Yeah. And then they ended up not getting it. It, it would have been like a 56 yarder or something. And they didn't feel comfortable at that, that range, mm-hmm. which I got to think you got to at least take that chance. But with the overtime rules, since the other team gets the ball and can go for a touchdown. Yep. And I think the, the way that green Bay was moving the ball, they were going to get a yeah. touchdown. I mean, they, they got a pass interference call down on inside the five. I oh, believe. they always do. Yeah. And so <laughs> they always, get I, those. I honestly was not expecting green Bay to even be competitive in this game, Same. the way that they've laid down the last several weeks. Same. But I sent uh, I sent both of these guys a TikTok that actually just cracked me up, made me laugh way too hard. But it's the what's your name, Tony, and Ezekiel. Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought it was fucking hilarious. Somebody put the eyes and mouth over Tony Pollard yeah, and Ezekiel. We all have Elliot. things we find funny. Scotty. It's great. I thought it was awesome. Some people thought Gallagher was uh, funny. That's true. That's true. They sold out his shows. That's unbelievable. Some people like the Black Panther movie. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that is this week's current events. Now we get to move on to the Chadwick Boseman fun was hilarious stuff. in it. Was he? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he wow. was cutting up. Oh, that's good. Does he? Do they even do a CGI version of him or anything? No, they no. have. Uh, what is it? The uh, his sister. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, her and uh, the bald lady. Yeah. Uh, they the actually dead. they put sunglasses on him. And then they just kind of put oh it oh they, they <laughs> kept burning right. him oh yeah. yeah that's good yeah, good stuff that's pretty pretty cool I can't believe they kept him preserved for that long yeah right? I know it's I think incredible. just for that role that guy can commit to a role sure he can, can. gosh all right now we get to move on to the fun stuff now we get to go to real shit or horse shit uh, this is basically our version of true or false. Uh, we're going to do the first one. First one is real shit or horse shit. I refuse to ask for help for anything. I can always figure it out. Horse shit. Yeah. Call Brian and ask him. <laughs> <laughs> that guy, sadly, is my fucking oracle for yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah. There was a day that I I didn't, I don't know anything home improvement. I was raised by my mom for the most part. Mm-hmm. Like, I would never learn to do anything but bitch. Mm-hmm. And so... I think I was having to change like the guts of the toilet out. Yep. And I'd never done that before. And I'm like kind of YouTube and I'm like, so I call him and I'm like, I thought I just had to change this. Do you, I just, I'm just asking you a question. Like, well, I'll tell you what, I'm by the house. I'll, I'm by your house. I'll, let me stop by Lowe's real quick and I'll get what you need. And then I'll come over and I'll, and I'll show you. And of course he doesn't show me. He just, just does fixes it. it. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> so now I figured out how Excuse to do me. that. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I fucking, <laughs> Brian, yeah, my buddy Brian uh, will attest to that is complete horseshit. Yeah, this is way, way, way horseshit. And I even asked Derek. I, I mean, I asked Jeremy. Jeremy ended up like fucking fixing my wall at the old house and the old studio. Oh, the glory hole. The well, glory, you got to yeah. patch that thing up. The new owners didn't. It want wasn't it. big enough for me. <laughs> yeah. Right. They, they yes. were worried that Scotty was just going to keep showing up on the other side of it, knocking yeah. with his mouth mm-hmm. to it, like, yeah. "Hey, yeah, you this- don't live here." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's sore shit. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, real shit that I refuse to help ask for help on anything. Yeah. Uh, horse shit that I can always figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, I, I can generally figure most things out if the, it's mechanical. Yeah. Um, but sometimes you just don't want to. Right. And that's, yeah. but I will always hire help. That That's mm-hmm. not, or I will always hire somebody to do it. That's not the same as asking for help. That's saying I got enough money to make you do it for me. <laughs> now dance, monkey. That's right. And I'm the poor one that's like, mm-hmm. hey, you guys want to tear down a deck for pizza? Yep, that's exactly <laughs> yeah, right. I'm that guy. He's that guy. All right, next one. Real shit or horse shit. I will call a person and forget why I called them in the first place. Oh, absolutely, 100 fucking percent. I got wet brain. <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah, I've drank way too much throughout my life. Oh, yeah. Uh, Jägermeister, especially in my 20s. Mm-hmm. I think I have a film of it over my brain still uh, and in my 30s. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I have a film of it to where I forget. Th- I'll go into a room and forget the whole reason I walked into a room. Oh, yeah. So. I, I, that was actually one of the other ones that they were going to I was going to put on here, but it's the same fucking thing. It's the exact same thing. This is real shit. I will call. I'll call Derek. I'll call. My, I won't answer. Yeah, you will. Um, I'll call. I'll call my best friend Derek. And, and uh, he- whoa, don't <laughs> throw that shit out there. Don't you dig? You're I gonna will. get people. I'm gonna fucking sue you for defamation of character. <laughs> uh, but no, I, I do this shit Christ. all the fucking time. And, I'm calling uh, the bull. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Mm. <laughs> yeah, call Siri, the bull. call the bull. <laughs> no, don't. Then I'm gonna have to fix the wall when he comes crashing through. Because Scotty still can't do it. <laughs> Real shit. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, 
Oh, oh shit. that's great. Uh, this is complete horseshit. I'm not calling anybody. <laughs> not even the bull. I, I I wouldn't remember why I called if I called. That's for sure. <laughs> but I know enough to not fucking call. I'll just text. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You'll just text me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm all- not. And I'll text you that I forgot why I texted. <laughs> For all you listeners that aren't in our area, there's you all have your stupid, shitty attorney yeah. that has these. Whether you're in Kansas City and it's jungle law or wherever the fuck you're at, ours is the bull. Yeah. And then it's some fucking weird guy, dude that looks like he's been like half Down syndrome and half in a fire. A guy named Brad Pistotnik who has been disbarred at least three times <laughs> yes. in his career. Yes. He's a personal injury attorney. Yes. Yeah. And he, there's a, the commercial, there's just a bull that blast through some <laughs> shit and he's riding it because you know that's what attorneys do yeah, is right, ride right. bulls that's right and and the entire point of the commercial is there's a woman on the phone with somebody talking about how she's just so hard up financially and you know she doesn't know what she's going to do she's afraid she's going to lose her house whatever and now this guy just added a fucking repair bill <laughs> <laughs> that Jeremy's going to have to come fix right <laughs> Yeah, because he's going to take a third of whatever she wins <laughs> right? and probably not fix that fucking wall. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> exactly. There's a door. Oh. How'd you get through law school, you prick? <laughs> oh, that's great. Probably uh, on a rodeo scholarship. Probably. Right in that bowl. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next question. Or next, uh, next one. Real shit or horse shit? I can sit quietly in a room and think about absolutely nothing. Horse shit. You can't do this? No, my mind is going a million miles all different directions. I figured out of can't do it. all of us, you would be the one that no, would say you could do I this. would love to be able to do that, but I cannot just not think about something. I will sit there and have a full flown, full fledged, com- full blown conversation with myself. <laughs> no, you can't talk in my you can't head. talk, period. No, I'm, I'm fucking busy talking to myself. Oh, okay, got it. Quit interrupting me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I will have a full blown conversation in my head. Like uh, that, yeah. that time I was on fucking mushrooms. Oh, the yeah. Last, well, not that time. The last time. Yeah, I was, oh, man, were we in deep thought? <laughs> <laughs> and it was not nothing. It was whole conversations about work and yeah, yeah. it's bad. It, I I can do this. I don't try to do it very often cuz I'm kind of I my mind moves a thousand miles an hour, but if I want to, I legitimately can sit quietly and just legitimately space out, think about nothing. So, this is real shit. Jeremy, uh this is horse shit and not many people can do this for very long. In fact, that's what it, the ancient philosopher that said that all of man's problems are caused by his inability to sit in a room quietly and think about nothing. Oh. Um, which is true. It's it's the desire to get up and do something causes every fucking problem in the world. <laughs> um, I can tell you that I cannot do this, at least not for long. Uh, I can sit there and stew. Oh, yeah. Shit. <laughs> I can sit there and, and count out all the people who I want dead. <laughs> Really? One out of three people that I <laughs> may or may not be in this room. Aww. One out of four in this house. My, my <laughs> poor dog. That's awful you'd say that about him. He said people. I like your dogs. Okay. Uh, next one. Real shit or horse shit. I have been accidentally turned on while watching the Discovery Channel. Kind of real shit. <laughs> what? Hear me out. <laughs> No. It was during a commercial. <laughs> and Jennifer Aniston with that skincare, I just anytime I see that chick, just How can you get turned on by her? That woman has dry eyes and didn't even tell her friends. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of person doesn't tell her friends she's got dry eyes? Oh god. I'd moisten them up. They've been uh-huh. walking around just in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. No, this is horseshit. I have never been turned on watching the Discovery Channel. Never. Like National Geographic? Maybe. But Whatever. Not, you used not. to tell me you had a crush on Bear Grylls, and he was I, on the Discovery Channel. No. No. You did I, too. I do not like Bear Grylls. You told me. No. That- I am not a fan of Bear Grylls. I, uh, there's Boy, the Canadian, that sure changed. The Canadian guy I like a lot. Of Les. Kids. Les. Les Stroud. I what, love Are you a Les. Weber guy? Huh? What kind of grills do you like? Weber. All right. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, this is uh, this is horseshit for me. How about you, Jeremy? Whatever. You used to fucking talk when you take a shirt off, start doing push-ups, and you were like, <clears throat> "I remember you having that conversation." Uh huh. Sure, you did. Jeremy, you printed off pictures of it and everything. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> 
I, I used to could because I used to be stimulated intellectually. And when the, um, <laughs> when the Discovery Channel would have actual intellectual content on, uh-huh. I could watch that and at least be interested, and uh-huh. which would usually give me an erection because most things just can't. They just don't hold my interest. But uh, ever since they switched to all surviving in the dark and the cold, yeah, naked, uh-huh. uh, in fact, the more naked that people are on the Discovery Channel, the less turned on I am. <laughs> oh, I love the I love the Survivor survival shows. Those are the best. I told you he wants to fuck Bear Grylls. No, <laughs> no. Well, he wants Bear Grylls to fuck him. No, yeah. I like I like Cody Lundine was one of my favorite guys. Um, then there was another guy that was also on Dual Survival, and I can't think of his name, but he was great too. They always pixelate them. Graham on the, on the naked the naked stuff. Yeah. It, and it's always in night vision. I didn't realize and it was Japanese shows. No <laughs> shit. That's <laughs> guessing is what that is. Uh, that's great. Is there, by the way, is there any worse pixelation than in Japanese porn? No. You can still tell exactly what's happening under yes. those pixels. Absolutely. You can. I find it very ironic. That the same country that brought us Bukaki uh-huh. is the same one that blurs out genitals in porno movies. First off, I've been corrected on this. It's pronounced Bukake. <laughs> <laughs> Who corrected you? Guess. <laughs> His father-in-law. <laughs> right. It was Bukaki. <laughs> Followed up shortly by Fuck No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fucking great. All right. Uh, last one. Real shit or horse shit. I have been walked in on during hand-to-gland combat. Uh, that is real shit. <laughs> but that lady in the J.C. Penney's room, <laughs> dressing room should have knocked. <laughs> uh, yeah, this. I think this has happened a couple of times uh, when I was much younger. And uh, one of the, they heard it sounded like this. No, (laughs) No. (laughs) gotta dry that out. No, so I can get it wet. It was my brother. My brother walked in on me one time. (laughs) It was weird that he helped. (laughs) That was the weird part. No, I had I covered myself. I was like, get out of here. He did that old like '80s action movie, like need a hand. (laughs) (laughs) That old cliche. Yeah, it's real shit. How about you, Jeremy? Um, no, I, spank you. <laughs> I tend to be pretty hyper vigilant while doing it. I'm suddenly my senses just heighten, and uh, I'm very well aware of every noise in the house, and would tend to zip up when there's nobody coming. Uh, <laughs> I, I, uh, You're careful. That's dangerous. And, and, yes. You're just yes. edging with yourself the whole time. And and by nobody, I mean me. I'm not coming. <laughs> um, now that I've got it zipped up in there. Uh, <laughs> but I like to take preemptive measures, so I walk in on people while I'm masturbating. <laughs> I like to think Jeremy just has a bunch of home alone traps set up in his house before he starts jerking off. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's got paint cans hanging from the yeah. fucking stairwell. I got string all over the place with beer cans hung from him for the jingle. It's like an alarm system. Uh, I saw a picture of his wife. Uh, she had an iron imprint on her forehead. <laughs> like, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have heated the iron up. There was no need for that. It could have just swung and hit her in the head. <laughs> Doing that bucket of water thing over the doorway, I probably don't need to have it scalding. Right before Jeremy's getting ready to ejaculate, you hear, I'm going to give you to the count of 10 to get your red, yellow belly. No good. One, two, 10. There you go, you filthy animal. (laughs) Keep the change, you filthy animal. That's what it was. Uh, I can't believe we just rolled over the hand-to-gland combat. That's fucking great. Um See, is I, it? Um, I was talking to my wife the other day, speaking of that, about post nut clarity. Uh-huh. <laughs> you, you know, yeah. you know post nut. Yeah. And, yes. and they're like, if you make, if you have a decision to make or anything like that of any importance, you should masturbate first and, and then hit. make that decision. Right. And I, I wish I was handy with a camera because I would love to make a, like a video <laughs> of like my wife and I having this argument. Like, well, where do you want to go eat? <laughs> I don't know. Where do you want to go? Well, where do you want to go? Hang on. 
<laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> Come out of the bathroom and be like, we're going to go to Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> then we go to the restaurant and the waitress is like, can I, guys start, can I start you guys off with a nice cold Pepsi, a margarita, or maybe even a beer? I'll be right back. I'm going to use the restaurant. <laughs> Man, you get worn out. <laughs> Would you guys like some fresh baked bread today? I got to go to the restaurant. <laughs> My How heart you, says yes. <laughs> How would you like that steak cooked? Jesus Christ, lady, you're dehydrating me. <laughs> More Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right. That's real shit or horse shit. Now we get to move on to overrated or underrated. Self-explanatory. If you can't figure this shit out, you're um, kind of dumb. Uh, first one. Overrated or underrated, jumping off the roof of a house onto a trampoline into a pool. <clears throat> Me doing it, way <laughs> overrated. I'll go through the trampoline. <laughs> yeah. Anyone else doing it, way underrated. <laughs> uh, I'm just saying I'm not going to be the guy that's going <laughs> to jump off that bridge, but I'll be the one that will push you off that bridge. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, this will not be the thing I go viral over. <laughs> <laughs> this is underrated. I have done this before, and it was fucking scary. You should do it right now. No. You don't was, even have a pool, do you? No, I don't. Yeah, you should show us. I'm mm-hmm. sure. Yeah, so this is underrated. How about you, Jeremy? Yeah, this is overrated. I would I would never do this. I'm As as speaking as the person who would be doing it, yeah, I'd, I'd, fuck no. Um, it's it's my bukkake, really. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> But, no, I would happily watch anybody else doing it because that's just fun waiting to happen. Bukake, you said. Yeah, bukake. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) All right, next one. Overrated or underrated? Camel toes. Well, Scotty, I'm half Canadian, so we call those moose knuckles. Moose knuckles. Uh, Oh, I thought it was on the guy it's a moose knuckle. Yeah, that's true. It is. Yeah, that's right. Depends on where you're from. Yeah, I guess. It's a regional thing. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't even have moose here. <laughs> we, we call we got them, lots of camels. Yeah, we, we don't call them crisps. We call them fries. Right. Right. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna go uh, underrated on that. Really? Absolutely. Oh no. Yeah, I know. Most of the time, it's the ones you don't want to see. Yeah. But, you know. But yeah. I don't know. There's still something kind of makes you giggle about it. No. No. Overrated. 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 The, the fucking soul snatcher three thousand. Fuck that shit. No. Overrated as hell. And it's because of all of the fucking overweight ones that you are more likely to see. Well, you know what, Scotty? Uh, what? If I was single, those are probably going to be the only ones I would get. That's true. So, That's perfectly fine. That's you. Not I'm me. not, not going to get the dime pieces. I yeah. can tell you that. I would. I, I would. might I might get the half dollars. I would get the dimes. How about you, Jeremy? Underrated. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> <laughs> I answered that maybe a little too enthusiastically. <laughs> Remember I was telling you about my inability to sit in a room and think of nothing? (laughs) Whether it's at the time of seeing it or whether I just trap that image in my head, at some point, that thing will be putting on a puppet show. (laughs) In my brain. Oh, shit. That's great. All right. Next one. Overrated or underrated? Drunk, pregnant women. Got to go underrated. Yeah. Yeah, you're doing God's work, lady. Mm-hmm. I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Especially if it's my baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is uh this is way underrated. I I I really want to support the awareness for this for, you know, women who need to start drinking whenever they're pregnant. I think that is something we need to all get behind. So, I'm going to say underrated. Jeremy? Um okay, this is for for here's my logic on this. It's very overrated. Uh, drunk women, just in general, highly obnoxious. <laughs> <laughs> pregnant women, super smug. <laughs> drunk pregnant women, obnoxious and smug. No, no, I can't handle that. Okay, Th- that's going to get me thrown in jail. Oh, All right. Imagine the craziness of the cravings. Oh though. God, that would be and crazy. that actually probably won't. Uh, Take care of the baby. That'll just make sure you have a special needs child that you're paying child <laughs> oh, support on. I'm changing mine then. Yeah. Unless she's drunk and clumsy, then I'm still staying under her. Sure. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, but she'll still be smug. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, next so one. We don't know how we're going to raise the baby. If we're going to have an at-home birth. Or <laughs> <laughs> While she's drinking Everclear. <laughs> blowing fireballs with it. Puss, puss chugging it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. 
Okay. Xander needs some. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Brantley wants yeah. some booze. <laughs> Braxton. Yeah. Oh, whatever fucking last name. <laughs> yeah. You can make a first name. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Jeremy, check, mm. this, check this out. How about that? <laughs> All right. Moving Derek on. Derek does it a lot more impressively. He does. He Yeah, he does. Uh, next one. Overrated or. <laughs> chair's yelling. Yeah. yeah. It it's, it's screaming. Overrated or underrated. Strippers with daddy issues. <laughs> Quit trying to touch my penis, Scotty. <laughs> Not that you touching my penis overrated. Don't do it. <laughs> <clears throat> no, o- overrated or underrated strippers with daddy issues. Again, underrated. Okay, just strippers are underrated. Yeah. Now I'm 40. I can fix the daddy issues. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. So, yeah. I am. I, I am now that material. So I'm gonna go underrated here. I'm I'm gonna agree with Derek on this. And what's whatever gets him on the pole? Yeah, you know? exactly. Like, okay, what would you expect a stripper without daddy issues to be like? I bet you um, they'd be boring. When, when you say a stripper with daddy issues, what you mean to say is a stripper? <laughs> <That's> yeah, <right. laughs> yeah. But no. Well, let's just hypothetically say that there was a stripper out there that doesn't have daddy issues. That'd be an awful stripper. That'd be terrible. Well, she's probably just working her way through college. I Maybe mean, could be. But yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh, over, uh, uh, underrated, yeah. Jim? Um, overrated. Again, really? smug. Smug. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Last one. Overrated or underrated? Rube Goldberg machines. I've got to go overrated on these. Um, the ones that take like 15 seconds. Should, All right. Should we explain to people? Yeah, Rube Gold, uh, Goldberg machines are like the fucking marble falling and it bounces off into different things. And yeah, and like it just mouse, like, different reactions. Yeah, mousetrap, basically. Or like a person jumping off of a roof onto a trampoline <laughs> into a pool. pool. <laughs> yes. And then the water splashes into a cup, knocks the cup over, and it's the marble. Marble did. Yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah, the shit. short ones. Uh, those are okay, but the ones that like, if it's a five minute video, yeah, and there's never like anything cool that happens at the end. Yeah, when it's over, it's shit. Yeah, just some dominoes might fall over. Yeah, you know, yeah. like, <clears throat> like if somebody was lighting a fart on fire with a flint at the end of it, mm-hmm. I'd be all about it. Yeah, it's I think Pee Wee Herman had the best one. Yeah, at the beginning of Pee Wee's. Yeah, that's how I got his Mr. T. Mr. T cereal. Uh, yeah, this is uh, this is overrated. Just just pour your own fucking cereal out of the goddamn box. Uh, this is a well, lot. they don't just have to be used for <clears throat> breakfast cereal, Scotty. I understand, but it, it doesn't sound like you do. You're trying to fucking like either complete a task or do something kind of cool using this stupid fucking machine. Uh, no, no, just fucking. Well, it's the do journey, it. not I the don't, destination. Yeah, Scotty. I don't give a shit. Uh, no, this is overrated. Do you know what they need? They need that kid that's on TikTok. That like when somebody does something really complicated, mm-hmm. like to open a water bottle, and then he just goes. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. That guy needs to do yes. every Rube Goldberg machine yes. possible. I gr- I agree. I can't remember that guy's name, but I haven't seen him for a while. Hopefully, he's not dead. Everybody else, yeah, is probably dying. rich. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Jeremy, well, while they are, well, number one, they're overrated. Uh, too Jewish. Um, <laughs> fuck. But Jeremy A. Joseph. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, now, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my actual, my real last name, I don't think people realize, is uh, Deutschendorf. <laughs> so uh, I'm, I'm real big in Germany. Right. Yeah. Um, anyways, uh, they, um, okay, <clears throat> while they are marvels of precision and patience and engineering and shit like that, uh, they usually do wind up going to... Um, solve a very simple problem meanwhile we still have cancer (laughs) and and real fucking problems that need to be solved right i'm I'm glad that you poured a cup of coffee with a thousand dominoes and some marbles and ball bearings and whatever the fuck else you did but yeah maybe put some of that energy into actually solving real problems dick yep agreed all right that was overrated or underrated now we get to move on to questions and preguntas yeah. What if it turns on the chemo thing? Uh, <laughs> yeah. The Good. doctor just like, I'll be back in 30 minutes. <laughs> and then just does this. Just pushes just it just over. Goes, mm? <laughs> That's fucking great. Yeah. Gives him time to go change and put that fucking lead vest on. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> it's uh, questions, preguntas, and questions, right? In French? No, it's bukake. <laughs> yes. <laughs> bukake. All right. Fair enough. That uh, does need to be a segment on this. Show. <laughs> <laughs> God. All right. First question. What's the most popular job title in 2044? Go ahead. Spicy accountant. What is One, that? That is the only fans worker. I had no wow. idea what the fuck spicy accountant was until I had to be told that whole thing. But apparently that is like the number one job to have in the United States right now. And then and in 2044, I don't think it's going to change. So that's mine. That's My wife's just a regular accountant. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who wants to go next? Uh, I'll go. Okay. Uh, plague doctor. Plague doctor? Plague. Oh, plague, plague doctor. doctor. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. I figure we just keep getting shit. I figure that's going to be a real thing here. They're going to long, yeah. long as people keep running 24 hour races. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. That or pirate. Oh, fuck yeah. I'd love to be a pirate. I think they're coming back. Yeah, they should be. They really should. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, Rube Goldberg designer. <laughs> 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 Turns out they. Cure cancer. <laughs> <laughs> they turn on the chemo machine. Mm. Yeah. Well, no, they just, they actually just, their existence cures okay. cancer. Oh, okay. I got you. I uh, don't know the science behind it. I don't have Discovery Channel. Yeah. <laughs> but if you did, you'd get mm -hmm. turned on. All right. Next question. Blank. That is my fetish. Shrek cosplay. Fuck you, bro. Yeah, I like to get my wife dressed up like Shrek, and then I try to put my finger in her butt. <laughs> and then she's like, get out of my swamp. Oh, God. Does she do a good Scottish accent? Not too shabby, actually. Nice. Yeah. Impressive. Mm -hmm. Very impressive. Um, she I gets pissed. I make her shave her head beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just like, call me donkey. <laughs> yeah. It's the only time I'll ever be hung. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, mine's actually very close. Uh, Velma cosplay. Okay. That's my fetish. The hot Velmas are sexy. Oh my God. So hot. Sure. Did, it's not Scooby-Doo. Yes. I'm very positive. It's I, not I, fucking Scooby. I know you like a nice dog dick, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> Ruby, Ruby. Just, I'm going to apply some lipstick. Yeah. yeah it's, no, thank you. <laughs> Jer Jeremy. You want a Scooby snack? Zoinks. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy. What's up? Yeah. What, what, my fetish? Yeah, what's your fetish? Oh, ball gags. <laughs> Just whatever it takes to shut them the fuck up. <laughs> Plastic or testicles? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> boy, I don't know. <laughs> so long as she doesn't correct my Japanese again. Whatever it takes for that. Oh, uh, that's fucking great. Okay, next question. What's a sure sign you are trapped in a horrible nightmare? Uh, you're sitting to the right of Scotty German in the middle of a podcast. <laughs> That's uh, a cop out. Um, actually, a true thing uh, that I have, and it sucks, and it just happened to me again not long ago. It happens to me about four or five times a year probably, mm -hmm. uh, sleep paralysis. So oh, yeah. I will hear a loud noise, and I am in bed, and I think that there is something opening my door. And I can't move. Like, I am rolled on my side, and I try to roll over, and I legitimately can't move. I can't yell. I can't do anything. And so I will sit and try and literally try to throw myself off the bed to wake myself up because I know what's going on, and I can't do it until eventually I force my eyes open, which is very hard to do from a deep sleep but I will force my eyes open and then I have to stay awake for about five or 10 minutes. Otherwise I will go right back into the dream mm. and do it all over again. That sucks. It is the worst feeling in the entire fucking world. And it's terrifying. Yeah. Now, okay. So once, once you wake up, mm -hmm. are you able to move? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Once I'm up, I'm able to move. My wife once has heard it because I was not, or I was in it and she was awake and all she heard was me going, like wow. doing that, mm. trying to scream to get out okay. of it. Okay. Wow. And uh, she woke me up. 
And that was the only time anybody's ever even got, I've ever been pulled out of it by somebody else. Hmm. Now, see, I have a recurring nightmare and mm -hmm. it's, I don't know that it's, I don't think it's sleep paralysis. It's more just a recurring nightmare where I'll be doing something mm -hmm. and just suddenly like lose control of my arms and legs. And I'm like helpless on the ground, can't move. Yeah. But as soon as I come awake, then you're fine. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm I, fine. I don't when make I'm awake. any noises and I don't know that I'm necessarily paralyzed in my sleep. Yeah. Just that's like a, a recurring theme of a of a nightmare that I have. Yeah, like my so. body is I know I'm asleep at this point and I'm just trying to move and I, for, at first I'm like wait a minute. Like when it starts and I'm like am I awake or am I mm -hmm. asleep? Mm. Cuz like the other the other night when I had it I was looking at the blinds and I could just start seeing almost like a flicker and like a move like almost a old movie look like it was starting to play hmm. and i'm like this doesn't seem right and i was like hang on and i kind of tried to move and i couldn't move and i was like fuck like in Shit. my dream and i knew what, what i knew what it you know what it is what movie i don't know i probably it was a nickelodeon uh, <laughs> yeah. Shit, smart house yeah, so. <laughs> no, not a show on nickelodeon no guy, a yeah. nickelodeon like the black and white that's what nickelodeon yeah. oh is gotcha my bad um okay so mine is sorry that got real. Yeah, it did get real. Yeah, mine's very real, but it's, interesting. Mine is very real as well, and it's and it's very weird. But um, I know I'm I'm trapped in a nightmare if I'm swimming. That is my telltale sign. I don't like to go swimming in a pool, uh, but more than anything, I hate swimming in a lake or a large body of what water. If there's a trampoline involved, if there's a trampoline involved, I may try to jump off a roof into it. But other than that, no, uh, I do not like to swim uh, because I am absolutely deathly terrified of sharks to the certain point to where I don't like being in water. And so if I, if I find is myself, that why your wrists smell like shit, you mm -hmm. won't shower. Cause you think a shark's going to eat you in the No, shower? I'll shower. I just won't take a bath. Oh, man. You're, yeah. you are aware that sharks can come through the shower, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. But it's very, very, very lo low chance. Not as low as you'd think. I yeah. guess, I guess I'm wrong. 20%. Man. There's probably shit. Wow. There's yeah. Total, yeah. You've never seen Katy Perry videos. Mm -hmm. I was eaten by a shark twice last week. Really? Yep. I'll be damned. Uh, but no, I, that, that is very, very real. I very rarely swim. And if I, if I find myself swimming, I know I'm in a nightmare. So that's it. Jeremy or did you tell you? No, I haven't told mine. Oh, go ahead. Uh, I'm trapped in quicksand Ooh. and I'm slowly going down and my wife has put all of the ropes in one of the containers of Christmas decoration. <laughs> <laughs> And it's July, <laughs> so she's got to get them all out, and she doesn't know which one it is, but now she's got to get them all out. And while she's all out, getting them all out, start singing, well, I might as well start putting them up, because <laughs> that's what's going on at my house right now. <laughs> Still. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's hoping to be done by the weekend. She won't be. <laughs> Nowhere fucking close. 14 trees. All 14 up? <sighs> Oh, Scotty, it's way more than 14. I'm just saying. I'm just asking if they're all up there's, already. There's probably at least 14 trees up so far. Wow. Yeah. Jesus. Okay. Uh, next question. What's something you might overhear in the bat cave? Um, hey, Alfred. <laughs> you know I can, like, totally kick Superman's ass, right? <laughs> like, like, hypothetically speaking, but, like, I can... <laughs> I could probably totally take that guy, right? <laughs> like, I mean, if it really came, like, just no laser vision, just straight fists. I could still have my utility belt, but he, he I could, t I could take him. <laughs> <laughs> Give Batman giving himself a pep talk. Yeah. Uh, uh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so it's Bukake? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. I want the title of this episode so bad to be Bukake, but it, you can't. Um, Spell it wrong. Yeah, break it down phonetically. <laughs> boo, boo, ka, and then cake. just put boo, B O O, dash cake. <laughs> <laughs> that's a treat you give Hall kids on Halloween. You yeah, give them boo, cake. Yeah, that's right. Boo, boo cake <laughs> for Medea Halloween birthday. <laughs> Uh, Tyler Perry's boo cake. <laughs> please tell me little Debbie has the Christmas trees. I hope they make boo cakes for Halloween. 
white icing. I like to think little Debbie listens to this show. <laughs> yeah, they Actual, do. The, the girl. Oh. Actual little Debbie. Oh, uh, I'll be damned. She'd be asshole, but she loves us. Boot cakes. <sighs> They're just an oatmeal cream pie mm-hmm. turned inside out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, with eyes, with googly mm-hmm. eyes, <laughs> with, with just a drizzle of gunk in its eyes. Uh, it's a honey bun with googly mm-hmm. eyes. Oh my god, that's great. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Okay. Uh, so I picked um, Robin and Hand to Gland combat spying on Batgirl. You like that Hand to Gland? That stuff, fucking right? Hand to Gland is fucking hilarious. Oh, I love boy. it. I'm good. Yeah, I figured that was going to get a rim shot. <laughs> yep, well, that sure. really wasn't something overheard more than something seen, but okay, yeah, sure. we'll play your fucking games. <laughs> okay. Well, Somebody I guess doesn't want to follow the fucking rules, so I'll be, go ahead. You'd be hearing that. All right. Uh, Jerry? <laughs> Holy sodomy, Batman. That thing's way bigger than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Perfect. Okay. Oh, man. Burt Ward. Yeah. We miss him. RIP. I don't even know if he's dead. <laughs> okay. Last. <laughs> but last I saw, he was about 400 pounds. So he might as well be. Yeah. Um, last question. What's the worst gift to bring to a white elephant gift exchange? Oh. Yeah. What do you got? Well, I didn't do it at a white at a white <laughs> elephant gift exchange, but I did do it at like a secret Santa open mic type thing. Oh yeah! And uh, is it your picture? No, damn it! No. That's, that's... Uh, it was a gift bag. Oh, and it had lotion, <laughs> Kleenex, <laughs> and Passion of the Christ on DVD. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that goes together. That like like yeah. the lamb and tuna fish. Who absolutely. doesn't like passion? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. I mean, oh, that's that's more that you talk about fetish porn. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of uh, S and M in that. Yeah, I complete with nails. <laughs> yeah, that's actually mine. That was mine, Jeremy. Nails. That, that's that. Nails, that's nails what. That's what that's, you're gonna yeah, bring to that's the white bring, elephant. Yeah, white elephant is nails. A whole bunch of nails. That would be pointless. That's how you get shit done? I know, but you gotta have a hammer. No hammer. Just I nails. have all the hammers. <laughs> I would love some nails. That's the thing. I spent all my nail money on hammers. <laughs> <laughs> so the nails would be perfect for you. Yes, I sure would. No, uh, but I do have a real one. I, my real one is candles. I, I do not like it whenever it's the white elephant gift because it's like it's somebody else's scent that they bought. Like, so you don't even know if it's any good. Mm-hmm. And if it's shit, you got to sit there with it and act like it's all nice and pretty and smells delicious, but it actually smells like shit. I want so. a candle that smells like natural gas to give to somebody. That would be awesome. That would be fucking hilarious. They make them. <laughs> Holy, Holy shit. shit you you got smell a gas that? leak. Yeah. I can blow that fucking candle out. Yeah. <laughs> it's gone. All right. Thank God. Let's light that candle. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I smelled again. <laughs> my uh, my wife my- found a candle that I'm not kidding you guys. It smells like fucking cake is baking at all times in my house and it so pisses me off because <laughs> <laughs> I want cake so ba- I mean it smells so good wow I love this candle and hate it at the same time wow how about you Jerry uh, well I'm going to say that uh, the worst thing would be an actual white elephant but in blackface <laughs> <laughs> wow and then you got to explain yourself yeah that it's like an antique. It was fine back then. Wow. <laughs> That's just Damn. the way things were. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. You don't have to cancel him. He's His last show is the first, <laughs> first week of January. Or you got to try and convince people it's just an actual black elephant. <laughs> <laughs> and white body. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Well, that was questions and preguntas. Uh, again, guys, any of these um, these segments, if you have any suggestions, you can send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram or on TikTok. Uh, do not forget to uh, send your gifts to our P.O. box as well. That link is in our bio now. But now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Um, as of last week's draft, uh, Jeremy won. You know how he won? 
the fucking penny press machine. That's what yeah, was that, fantastic. That was fantastic. Absolutely perfect pick Thanks, on your guys. behalf. I, yeah, yeah. I I'm really just, try my best. I mean, absolutely, Listen, Jimmy. I, I, our, our listeners are sharp. Yeah, they really are. <laughs> they I are. say it all the time. Yeah. They are sharp, smart folk. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, yeah, so Jeremy ended up winning the worst souvenirs to buy at a gift shop draft. Derek came in second. And, uh, as always, I came in last. Um, so this week I get to pick first. Derek gets to pick the sandwich picks, and Jeremy gets the championship picks. Only um, fitting that the fat guy gets to pick the sandwich. Absolutely. Oh, Wish I could have a sandwich. Scotty yeah, just yeah, came. Yeah, motherfucker. Sorry. I, just, I did just came a little bit. Okay. It's um, called Bukake. Bukake. Yeah. Oh, you must be thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Needs an angry balls. Stan. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but anyway, so uh, this week's draft is going to be one that... Uh, that I guess with the draft, he is getting ready to make a decision, so it's okay. probably a smart move. Right. Uh, Derek came up with this one, and I really like it. This is the worst options for lube, right? Yeah, worst things to use as lube. Worst things to use as lube. Mm-hmm. And I am going to take the first pick, and I'm going to go with Icy Hot. Okay. Yes, sir. That's bad. Okay. Derek? Super glue. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> me. <laughs> oh, man. That stole it right <laughs> after me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Derek oh, just won the draft. Shit. <laughs> oh, man. It depends if you like being in for a long time. <laughs> oh, wow. Shit. Okay. Uh, Jeremy, you get two. A uh, little nitro juice. <laughs> nitro juice. Uh, yeah. Little what, nitro? What, yeah, whatever the fuck is in that goddamn gummy bear. Okay. <laughs> um, and then, uh, fuck, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> well, what do you usually use? Uh, well, uh, <laughs> on the rare occasion, lube. <laughs> 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 no, turpentine. Turpentine. I'll, right. go, I'll, I'll go the uh, the polar opposite of your of your super glue. <laughs> okay. Uh, Derek, you get one. I got to go with old faithful Tabasco sauce. Oh, no. Oh, God. Okay. Well, I'm going to go with sand. You can't use. It's got to be. It can't use sand. Why oh, not? have you ever stepped on concrete when there's sand on there? It's slippery. <laughs> it's sl- oh, stupid. I'll go with sand. I agree. It's stupid, and he's not going to win. I'm not going to win anyways. I never do. What is this? Uh, this stupidness of me actually winning? So no. You um, sold your soul to the devil when you got your wife. That's true. <laughs> I did. Uh, I'm going to. You're her sand, Scotty. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Um, <laughs> You're the sand to her vagina. <laughs> God dang it. Start, that's his new nickname, Sand. <laughs> yeah. S- Sandy Scott. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, I'm Sandy German. Yeah. The Sandman. Sandy Magoo. Yeah. I'm going to go with Fireball. Okay. I think that'd be bad. Derek. Yeah, you don't want to get your drink all fucked up. <laughs> uh, maple syrup. Yep. That's a good one. Sticky. Mm-hmm. Okay. Jeremy, you get two. Log cabin maple syrup. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> Name brand. Yeah. Tar. <laughs> <laughs> Roofing tar. <laughs> okay. Or cigarette tar. I don't know. Yeah, either one. Um, and let's go with... I'm looking at my phone as though I have a list here. (laughs) But in actuality, I'm just thinking that shit. Because I don't know that this list exists, does it? (laughs) No, this is off the top of our head. Okay. Um, uh, Shit, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of bad shit to use as lube. Can we all agree on that? Yeah. <laughs> Vinegar. Oh, just because of the stink. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Clean it out, though. Yeah. Sure. Actually, yeah, that would uh, make things smell better down there eventually. Oh, man. What'd you say? Vin. What? Vinegar. Oh, God. <laughs> Vin Diesel. <laughs> Vin Diesel sweat. Yeah. Okay. Derek, you get one. 
Uh, lead-based paint. <laughs> oh, my God. This is awful. The <laughs> nice thing is you can drink all you want when you're pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't going to matter at that point. Oh, God. That's great. Um, I had one. Yeah, I, I'm going to have, have this one. I'm going to go with uh, toothpaste. Mm, okay, that's a good mm. one. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, <laughs> That's a good one, really. I'm sitting here going, this is retarded. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of anything. Uh, God damn it. Um, candle wax. Candle wax? Yeah. Candle that smells smells like a gas leak. <laughs> All right, Derek, your last pick. Dog drool. Oh, gross. <laughs> Speaking of fetishes. <laughs> yeah. That's where I live, folks. My buddy has a mastiff. <laughs> yeah, you got you can have plenty of it. Uh, how about you, Jeremy? Um, Gojo? What in the fuck is Gojo? That's that really gritty soap oh, that you yeah, clean yeah. grease and shit off your hands with. Or you can lava. Let's go lava soap. Lava That's, soap? Okay. Yeah. All right. That sounds good. <clears throat> oh, my Lord. Okay. That's all off the top of the dome. That is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's for Scotty's. No, mine, mine aren't. I'm yeah, Scotty looking at a list. A list. Of, no, I, I'm looking at a, a John Denver to verify that you uh, you were right on his he, name. Yes, I was. And you are. Uh, only it's, he's junior, by the way. I actually thought yeah. his name was Jingleheimer Schmidt. Jingleheimer Schmidt. I believe yep. his old man's name was Dutch. Right. I don't know. <clears throat> or they called him Dutch. He was a he was a pilot. Oh. Okay. Oddly enough, but a good one. Oh, okay. Uh, unlike the boy. Who uh, <laughs> sure he wasn't not a, so great. <laughs> turns out, <laughs> sure he wasn't went in charge of the submarine rudders. Maybe who Dutch? Yeah, uh, I don't know. Maybe that's where a Dutch rudder came from. Ah, I don't know what that is. Is that in the Urban Dictionary? Yeah, a Dutch rudder. You don't know what Dutch rudder? Is? I don't. Oh my goodness! Do tell. We have time to kill. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I believe that is when one guy grabs some guy's dick and the other guy grabs. His, <laughs> you grab each other's dicks and then you grab each other's arms and you just move the other guy's arms up and down. So. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah. We just called it a seesaw back in the day. <laughs> well, that was the back before. Totter. That was back before rudders, well, Jeremy. That was that was on the playground yeah. too. Oh, that's great. Oh, great. It's Pretty cool. sure that's a Dutch rudder. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, damn, that was one I did not know about. Oh, God damn. Impressive. Okay, uh, but that you was... call yourself a munter. That was our draft for this week. You can go to Facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines and vote by clicking on the corresponding emoji with that person's list. Whoever wins the draft gets to pick the champion picks uh, next week, and that's pretty much it. They don't get a belt, don't get a surprise, don't get a pat on the back, just fuck you. You get the, you get the last picks. Thanks a lot, trophy smack. Yeah, no kidding uh but uh, now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode this is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. Uh, this one was actually sent in by a fan uh, who calls himself Troubled underscore coffee underscore 84. This uh, is one too many underscores at least. Uh, <laughs> I don't know that you really need any. Uh, you can't tell me that Troubled Coffee 84 with no underscores was already taken. <laughs> but whatever, dude, uh, this will mark the first time that any of our listeners have ever actually been useful. Because um, <laughs> he actually did send me in a pretty good one. Um, in 1915, the new Federal Siemens Act... <laughs> <laughs> was passed uh, because of the uh, disaster of the RMS Titanic three years earlier. This law basically stated that uh, all current passenger ships needed to be retrofitted to have the proper number of lifeboats on board. On July 24th, 1915, the recently retrofitted ship, the SS Eastland, began boarding passengers uh, on the south bank of the Chicago River at approximately 6.30 a.m., and by 7.10 a.m., she had reached her max capacity of 2,572 passengers. Um, <clears throat> shortly after they got full, uh, due to the extra weight and uh, unbalanced nature of these new lifeboats, it began to list uh, quite a bit. Then it lurched and rolled over on its side, 
immediately sinking to the bottom of the river. Now, the river was only 20 feet deep in this spot, so only half of the ship was uh, was below the water. However, most people had kind of made their way to that side of it and um, trapped basically half the passengers underwater. And despite the fact that they were only 20 feet from the dock, and, uh, you know, there was pretty fast response. Uh, 844 passengers and four members of the crew still perished in this uh, awful tragedy. What is considered to be the most uh, deadly shipwreck in the history of uh, Great Lakes travel. Wow. And now your child can recreate the magic of this moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos, better hold your breath. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation was brought to you by Derek. I uh, came up with this one. And it is, for the rest of your life, would you rather forego brushing your teeth or wiping your ass? Okay. Okay. You want to go first? Sure. Go ahead. Uh, I cannot not brush my teeth wiping your ass you're kind of covered up i think you know okay i i think uh there's a lot of times uh where you uh you know you you don't have to wipe sometimes you know not saying that you gotta happens. get a clean break if you pinch it you're wiping exactly yeah. so i i think that i would just have to train my butthole to the point to where i could um, maybe not have to wipe and by the way a uh, bidet's not allowed damn it that's what I was hoping. You can yeah. shower, can you? You can shower. Okay. Mm. All right, there we go. There's my loophole. Yeah, that was going to be my loophole. Okay. Mm. Was that yeah. I can shower. I can shower. So I am, I am, but I, you have to brush your teeth. If you don't brush your teeth, oh, God. It's, They're going to fall out. That's the worst fucking smell ever is is bad, no, bad you breath Now, you could go get a cleaning Ugh. weekly, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, Gross. That would add up. Yeah. That's, that's a loophole as well. Uh, you could floss. You okay. could you could mouthwash. Mouthwash, I guess. You could mouthwash, you but it's Listerine still in that shit. I still ah. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm 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 not going to not brush my teeth. Yeah, I'm going with showering after every shit and just spreading my cheeks in the shower. <laughs> I will I will use your toothbrush, Scotty, <laughs> since you're not gonna or since you well you'll be using it. I'll be using so it. So I'll use your toothbrush to scrub my ass. That Thanks. is what I will do. Thanks, man. In the shower, right. So that is uh, that is how I'm gonna roll. Okay. All right. Yeah. How about you, Jeremy? I gotta go brushing teeth. Yeah. Honestly, uh, I primarily only shit at work. Mm-hmm. Uh, so on I the floor, paid. sure. <laughs> on the yeah. floor, yeah. yeah. <laughs> With my cargo <laughs> shorts on, and it's not even short season. That's what really sucks about this weather getting colder. I'm gonna gain a lot of weight. Uh huh. We knew it was you. <clears throat> yep. The whole time. Yep. A poop. That's right. From, from Jeremy Joseph. <laughs> But yeah, I have really good dental insurance, so I can go get them cleaned up fairly often. And yeah, there's floss, there's mints, there's mouthwash. Uh, When I take a dump, you want to talk about a living nightmare. (laughs) I mean, it's like something out of a fucking horror movie back there. It's It's a lie. It's a a mess. Uh It's it's like, you know that opening scene of uh, Saving Private Ryan? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of that level of horror that goes on back there, and I can't not... It gives some wiping. Okay. I, because, because the thing is, is that that doesn't just stop there. You're going to get rash. You're going to get oh, yeah. a horrible uh, itch. Oh, uh-huh. yeah. Oh, I yeah. can't stand being uncomfortable. Yes. You're going to get swamp ass. Yeah. Or hemorrhoids. One or two. <laughs> I think you go beyond swamp ass. You got mud butt. Yeah. <laughs> mud yeah. Butt. Oh, you yeah. got mud butt. Yeah. Oh. Get out of my swamp. <laughs> 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 Fucking mud butt. Just to leave turn. it alone, donkey. <laughs> <laughs> Bukake. <laughs> I made Jeremy laugh for once. By repeating something my wife said. Correct. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, but anyways, I yeah. I wonder if she could host this show. Uh, it, it's definitely questionable. She speaks good English. Yeah. Yeah, Scott, she does. You know. She, I, she's American. I know. I know. Very nice lady. Very, very sweet person. How the fuck she puts up with your shit, I have no idea. Well, Scotty, when you sling dong the way I do, <laughs> it earns you some concessions, all right? Okay, yeah. Jeremy's over there throwing some dick. Yeah. I sure am. Yeah, the only thing he flashes better than the leather is that dong. That's she right. She hates when I use that expression, by the way. Sling dong's her uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. 
Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Sleep dog. Fucking good night. <laughs> That's it. Oh, good. <laughs> I made myself chuckle. With a mouthful of water. Oh, man. Oh, 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 that's fucking great. Uh, but thank you guys very much for another excellent episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Do we have any upcoming shows at all, Derek, that uh, you don't know of? I will be hosting the Looney Bin next Wednesday cool. for the finals of the contest. Do you get to vote? No, I'm just hosting. Jeremy, do you get to vote? I would have to recuse myself from the judging this year. There is uh, somebody who's in it who I don't think I could fairly judge. Which is? Or who I'm, is? I'm not going to say. Steve, that's okay. He's great. No, it. no. It's somebody who I'm at odds with. Oh. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Who has no shot at winning, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> who I believe probably will be doing the same set that I've seen them do Oh, the last four times I've judged that fucking contest. So I'm not in uh, it this year. Yeah, no. D- Jer- <laughs> oh, Derek boy. is sitting right here. Yeah, <laughs> I thought we were on good terms. Oh, you don't judge the host? No. <laughs> oh, I was going to make sure you retain that title. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. Uh, but thank you guys very, very much for another uh, great episode. Again, we do now have a P.O. box that you can send uh, creative boxes. Here's the deal. If you send us something that's, like, awful, we're going to make fun of you for it. If it's good, we're going to praise you for it. And if it's a prank, it depends on the prank. Um, but Scotty's yes. condom size is extra small. No, it's it's way smaller than extra small. Just got, remember, yeah. remember yeah, sending sending anything sorry. explosive through the mail is uh, a federal fe- offense. Is a yeah. felony. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So don't also do that. firearms. You can't ship firearms. That's right. Yeah, you're gonna have to mail. drive those here to one one no, one. No, shut. Stop it, you motherfucker. But call ahead to three one six. I four, j- quit. I'm telling you right now. Stop. Um, but no, the P.O. Box address is you can send it to laughing on the sidelines at 7130 West Maple Street, Suite 230, Box 310, Wichita, Kansas 67209. Uh, all of, uh, all, yeah, we love all of you. Uh, but anyways, uh, thank you guys so very much for continuing to have this podcast grow. Uh, thank you very much for uh, doing what we always tell you to do, and that is if you like us, tell your friends. But if you don't like us, uh, we hope you and your lady are about to make some sex, and your bottle of KY is mislabeled, and it it's actually super glue, and it rips your wiener off. <laughs> but they're able to surgically repair it, right? <laughs> so when you get home from the hospital, you call for legal advice because you're going to sue. And as soon as they pick up the phone, I mean as soon as they fucking say hello, a man on a bull bursts through your living room wall, <laughs> and that bull gores your whole family. Oh, God. If you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. Uh, United we stand, divided we fall. (laughs) I I looked up the slogan for KY. I guess that's Kentucky. (laughs) (laughs) So, yeah. Yeah, lube your dick up and stand united. (laughs) Until next time. Keep laughing, assholes. We will see y'all later. Take care.